so in this video i'll be going through my setup um a lot of you guys are always asking me like the items that i have here so i'm going to try and go through each and every item that i have and then put a link in the bio if it's still sold but some of the stuff here is very very old so it's no longer sold but yeah i'll just put the in everything in the description so let's go The monitor up there is a dial 32 inch um it's 1440p 165 hertz and then over here you've got a 24 inch full hd 60 hertz monitor so i'm using an nb monitor mount um, i'll put a link in the description of it um it has two arms one here and the other one is over there you can play around with the settings if you want to stack it on top or you want to put it in a t layout or whichever way that works for you Work laptop it's a Dell Latitude 5520 it has got 16 gigs of RAM 256 SSD and an Intel Core i5 I will put the generation of the CPU on the screen because I am not sure what it is keyboard that I use is a Razer Onata V2 it's a mecha membrane keyboard which is a mixture of mechanical and membrane so that's how it sounds the mouse that I use is a Red Dragon M908 Impact. The reason I bought this mouse was because of these buttons on the side here. Because when I was playing Call of Duty, I was a mouse and key guy. So it would help me with like mapping most of the stuff that I do in the game um, on the buttons here. So for switching weapons, I used to use three. For sliding, I used to use five. And then for dropping a grenade, I would use two. And then I would use seven to draw a lethal it was that was the reason i bought this mouse for but yeah now it's not useful anymore because i don't play call of duty but it's still a good mouse i would say and it can go up to 12,400 dpi which is crazy but yeah no one uses that and over here you've got a hickey vision full hd webcam which i use for streaming but yeah i haven't been streaming in a while so i haven't used it and then for audio i use the Harman Kardon onyx 7 studio it's this mic it's a non-name mic i don't know what the name of the mic is but it's on the arm here so you can extend it like this for when you're streaming and you can put it back to the side out of the reach if i'm working here and then i have this sound card here where the mic is connected to it's a v8 live sound card uh it's nothing special i also got this from take a lot you are able to change voices and have sound effects and all of that and then this is a bluetooth wi-fi um dongle for the pc so everything that you see on youtube <laughs> comes from this computer right here if it wasn't for this computer i wouldn't be able to edit videos or do anything on youtube so this pc is quite old now um, i think it's three or four years old inside it has a intel no it doesn't have an intel what am i saying inside it has a amd ryzen 5 5600x 32 gigs ddr4 600 megahertz ram from 8 data um, xpg it has got nvidia ge4 steady 60 ti it has got a asus p550 motherboard um three fans for intake three fans for exhaust um a fractal aio um a lumen s204 and that's just basically it for the pc the desk carrying everything it's an axon standing desk 1.6 meter it's a manually operated sit stand desk it is operated through this right here so you can pull this and then you can do this and then you can there's no effort needed you see you can just do this whether you're putting the desk up or you're putting it down the the way it works is very very easy you see from the bottom there it's going up down there i've got that box which connects to the wall and then I've got plugs in there so all the cables that go up to this PC and the monitors and everything they are on this black um, strip that you can see here and then there's another black strip which goes to the side where the PC is located so the power cables are all in there they all go up so in order to use extend on the laptop in order to view on both monitors I've got this cable right here which is connected to the type C it's a type C to 
display port converter so it goes in here and then there's a cable that then connects to it and then over this side i've got an hdmi cable so to this monitor i'm using the hdmi to the other monitor i'm using the display port the same style is on this on the pc also there's a display port and then there's an hdmi port so on one of the monitors as you can see here there's a display port and an hdmi connected one hdmi is for the pc the other display port is for the laptop and then on the other monitor it's the same style but switched around for a router i use this zytel thing it's a free router i got with when i signed up for my wi-fi and then that is my internet speed um that i'm pulling from the router uh it's a good line i would say <laughs> it is decent uh, i need fast internet for to be able to do all these videos that you guys see the upload and all of those things so i've got a gig line as you guys can see there i'm not getting the gig but we are almost there if i had a, a very fancy router maybe i would get a gig but doesn't matter but yeah that router that you just saw that's the speed that is pulling on the keyboard and mouse in order for me to be able to use the same keyboard and mouse on the pc and the laptop i've got a switcher right here um just that you can't see it properly but there's a switcher right there so the switcher has the keyboard and the mouse connected and then it has two usb outputs so one goes to the laptop another one goes to the pc so from the click of a button here i can be able to switch the mouse and key to whichever one i'm using at that current moment to play games when you guys see me streaming forza this is what i use i use a ds4 dualshock 4 it's a playstation 4 controller um more or less this is a cover um but yeah there's nothing special about that it's just that you that white thing that you are seeing over there is for the led lights um they have this remote that you can see here um and you can also connect them to the phone via an app there's an app that you can use but this is just for you see basically turning them on now just that it's too light so as you can see that they're on then you can change the colors to whatever color you want or prefer and all that but i'll show you guys a clip of it at night and then this is the chair that I use. Uh, I bought this chair at the coffee and a couple of years back. I'm still using it. It's still going strong, but I'm going to change it very, very soon for another chair that I saw that I like. This is how the setup um, looks like at night. I know it looks bluish, but it's supposed to be purple. The light is pinkish purple. Um, I've got LED lights behind the monitors, but they start from the desk going up bottom of the desk going down and then behind the monitors my pc used to light up i'll show you some clips of it with the lights on but i effed up the motherboard so i'm still gonna sort that out when i have time and then the keyboard is like this so yeah this is just basically it and the lights you can switch them around with this remote right here so you see you can go red uh you can go green all of these different colors you see there's a lot of them but red is the one that looks like yeah and then the next thing is you've got different modes where right? you can do things like this where it switches the colors and stuff you've got different ones which are faster fade all of these different things or you can even do slow it changes the colors like slowly but the camera doesn't pick the light the colors up and they also have a music function so when you play music they will go according to the music and stuff like that but yeah red is the nicest color that looks like that let look that looks nice this is where you see cheap monitors you see that's a good monitor that's a good monitor this one you can see cheap stuff but yeah so that is the setup at night also that light there which was a gift from one of my co-workers that's how it looks like so i guess that's the end of the video if i missed anything that you would like to know and all that you can drop a question in the comments or whatever i'll be able to answer you 
um, thank you for watching. I appreciate every single one of you guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Still on the road to 30,000 subscribers. So please drop us up, comment, and like. That's what makes the videos go high. Thank you very much. Cheers. Bye-bye.